So welcome back to another landscape photography vlog guys. Hopefully you can hear me okay with the uh, waterfall behind me here. Ooh. It's uh, very slippy as well. Um, today I've come to a, a waterfall that I've uh, been meaning to come to for, a, for quite a while. And I came yesterday and unfortunately the, the water wasn't flowing fast enough. Um, so it, it was sort of a trickle more than a, a waterfall really. And today it has uh, rained in the night. Sorry, it rained last night. So today I've um, I've come down and had a look, and it's it's flowing a bit heavier, but it's not as much as I would have hoped for. But I think it was just it's good to see what this waterfall looks like. I think with more water it could look even better because it's very sort of weak at the minute, as you can see. It's a bit of a tricky a decline down into where this waterfall is as well. It's very very steep, very um, very muddy, very wet. So it wasn't trick. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't easy. It was quite tricky. So I'm going to have a look at some compositions now. Hopefully, try and find a nice one. And yeah, if I get a nice a nice shot, I'll uh, be sure to let you know. So I've just moved down from the um, where the sort of water, the big waterfall is, and couldn't really film the image that I'd just taken um, because it was very loud with the waterfall and there wasn't a lot of room to put the tripod. So what the scene was is these lovely little flowers, as you can see here, moving into the uh, into the waterfall and the, the nice mossy rocks on the right of the frame as well. So I'm hoping hoping that one turns out okay. You you'll obviously see very shortly. Um, but uh, yeah, I've just moved further down and we've got these nice rocks um, on the right and we've got the bluebells on the left as well. And it's got this sort of nice S-shaped waterfall, which then leads onto a nice uh, tree that's sort of fallen across. It's very crooked and curved, coated in moss. And then that leads to the waterfall beyond that as well. And I think it makes for quite a nice image. I've not really composed anything yet. I've got the camera here started to rain so I've got the camera pointing down so it doesn't get any drips on the polarizer. But yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little play here now and see if I can if I can capture anything. Um, I hope the audio is okay. I've got my microphone on but it is very loud with a waterfall so I'm gonna have a little look here and hopefully should be able to film the shot here as there's a bit more room than there was up there. I've got a composition set up here and another vertical shot as well and we've got this like I said before we've got this very nice sort of S-curved waterfall the nice sort of branch it cuts across with the moss on and then we've got the waterfall in the background as well and we've also got a tree just on the left of the frame it just sort of gives a bit of interest to the, with the bluebells as well on the left the reason why I've gone for a vertical is I tried for a sort of um, a landscape shot and it doesn't it's a bit messy we've got these sort of messy uh, bushes on the right messy rocks on the right uh, there was no order to the shot and I wanted to make sure that it was sort of focusing on this nice S curve into the branch into the waterfall with the nice colour of the bluebell so I'm going to take this now and I'm battling with the rain and the polarizer because it's coming down quite heavily now and the droplets on the, on the polarizer are, are a pain, so I keep having to wipe that. So, in terms of settings, anyway, I'm at uh, f11, ISO 200, and shutter speed we're looking at about 
five seconds. I'm going to change that a little bit. I'm going to change it to 6.5 seconds. Um, I'm just making sure that the water's not getting blown out. It's very bright. So I'm going to pop a two second timer on here. Focusing on the rocks next to the waterfall. And I'm going to take a shot. And that's six second, ex 6.5 second exposure. And I think that's going to be really nice. The water's creating this really nice sort of web effect uh, as it sort of sprays out. It's really sort of nice on the image there. I'm going to take another shot though, because I don't think the polarizer's uh, clean enough with the droplets. But here's that shot for you now. So guys, I hope you like that, um, the last image there. But the rain is really starting to come down now. And it's becoming a bit of a challenge to keep, um, to keep the polarizer and all the filters and the lenses and things clean um, from, from water. And it's, a, it's really annoying. I've got my lens cloth and I keep wiping it. But as soon as you wipe it, you get another big blob from one of the trees. So I'd like to get one more up near the um, up near the log, the big log going across the waterfall there, but it's really coming down, that stair rods un under here. Don't think you can see it um, on the camera here, but I'm getting a bit wet. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna probably end this vlog here. Uh, it's been a bit of a, almost feel like it's been a bit rushed really, just because I've not had a lot of places to, to put the tripod and film because I'm on this sort of body of water really. Um, hopefully I'll definitely come back here in a future video. And there's some waterfalls just further down this stream that I really want to go and see as well. Um, but again, I think I'll come back when it's not raining quite as bad, just so it makes my life a little bit easier. So uh, thank you for watching this video guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, comment on the video if you have uh, like any of the images in particular. And yeah, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.